Hello, this is Shankar, and uh, this is my uh, series which I'm doing on my experiences in astrology on the Brigunati system. If you know about me, go to my site shankarstudy.com, Shankar with an E, and uh, you can write to me at connectingstars at gmail.com. In my experience of astrology today, I want to talk about Rahu, which is the dragon head, and Ketu, which is the dragon tail. Rahu is the upper part of the body and Ketu is the lower part of the body. So Rahu has all the brains and Ketu has all the experiences. Uh, that's in nutshell, but these are some experiences which I've observed and have been right. You also please apply them. I, I don't want to leave this universe without sharing my study on astrology and a lot of people who will hear it will benefit it I'm not a professional it's a hobby for me and uh, thus I tell you what I have experienced and it's for you to use them and let me know whether they're right or wrong and what are the caveats which you can put Anybody who has such knowledge of astrology where you know certain secrets, you have decoded certain things, please do tell me. Astrology is not about the planet Jupiter, they are impacting you here. It is as inside, so outside. There is a universe inside you and it is that universe which has the coding which does a lot of things in your life. You like it or you don't like it. Action, of course, is important, as you all say. I mean, you have 40% of it is the way you act. And you mold yourself. And there are ways people do it. So here today I'm going to talk about Rahu in the whatever may be ascendant, let your ascendant treat it as the first house. Now wherever Rahu is in the first house, it reduces the power of the sun drastically. The power of sun gets reduced when Rahu is in first house. Rahu in first house gives you certain other things like you can intimidate people, you can be a large, very big thinker. I mean, the planet in the first house is the king. So Rahu as a king has its own advantages, it makes a big businessman, but it reduces the impact of sun, for sure. And Ketu on the other hand, whenever it is in the first house, it enhances the power of the sun. Sun denotes your children, sun denotes your ego, sun denotes your all the habits which are associated by king, you know the way you move, the way you talk, the way you conduct yourself and also the prestige which you get in society or in government or a high position, so on and so forth. Sun is you, your soul. So it reduces the power of sun. Sun it also donates your father. So whenever Ketu is in the first house, it increases these aspects of sun at least three times. And whenever Rahu is in the first house, it reduces the power of sun. It doesn't mean that your horoscope goes down the drain. But yes, it reduces the power of your sun. A very planet which has always, you know, attracted me is Mercury. In the Vedic astrology, Mercury has not been given a very important place. But Mercury is a very important planet in doing negative things as well as giving you very good results. Mercury basically gets all its work executed through Rahu. You always have in any system a person who thinks and then a person who executes. A thinker and the executor, when they fall in line and they're as good, it, it, it creates a very positive impact. Therefore, whenever 
Mercury is in the fourth house. It will spoil the results of fourth house. Not, not spoil the results of fourth house mainly, but fourth house is ruled by moon in the Kalpurush. So whatever may be ascendant, treat the fourth house as your fourth house. And when Mercury is in the fourth house, it spoils moon. It spoils the result of moon. And moon is nothing but your finance. Moon is your liquid cash. Moon is family. Moon is daily happiness. Moon is your mother. So there are a lot of things which are, you know, denoted by moon. And moon getting spoiled when Mercury is there in fourth house, it clamps down the horoscope to a very great extent. If there are other things, of course, I'm not saying just by looking at one thing you come to a conclusion. But, you know, various other things are very good. You have Mars in the 12th house, you have Rahu in the 3rd house, <coughs> Mars controlling Rahu, and you have other very good planets at other places as per the Mrigunadi system. But Mercury in the 4th house will spoil a lot of things of moon and moon as I told you at the cost of repetition it it takes care of your family finance liquidity daily day-to-day -day happiness mother so on and so forth very very important planet and a planet which helps you in various situations when it is with other planets also so that's what happens when Mercury is in the fourth house. With this, I end my video and do watch it. And if you watched it, do write about it. Thanks and bye. This is Shankar signing out. Thank you very much.